I still always think about how it must feel for them to leave their home country and go to a new country and start afresh because I don't think I could ever do that, especially when you don't even know the language that well. So both my parents worked a lot when um, I was younger and my grandma, luckily she raised me, so she's pretty much my best friend still. 태국에 관광 왔다가 어, 이왕이면 호주가 좋다 그래서 여기 관광 왔다가 여기 살게 됐지. I uh, arrived in Australia 1987. That time already my mom uh, here uh, in Australia. 근데 와가지고 비자가 없잖아. 근데 호주 와가지고 먹고 살아야 하니까. 어디 식당 같은 데 이제 들어가서 일도 했어. 그런데 비자가 없으니까 밤이면 이민 경찰이 그때 다녔어. 그것도 나무 집에 가서 쫓겨가서 살기도 하고 그랬어 그때는. Uh, I got only seventy dollars that time. <웃음> I work very hard. And then as soon as uh, I arrived in Australia, I got a job in the Japanese restaurant as a waitress. Then my English. Uh, wasn't enough to, you know, the, get all the. I made a sometimes mistake. Then when the customer asked me, "Can I get a bill?" and then sometimes I get to the beer and the bill and bill. So I couldn't, you know, the difference. But now I can know. Yeah. <laughs> My first neighbor I actually remember quite distinctly. My grandma used to work in the garden a lot, and I'd help her out just watering the plants. And the lady next door, she lived by herself, I remember. When she could hear me on the other side, she'd knock and then pass over like a bag of goodies, like Lebanese sweets or Lebanese bread, which was really sweet. 그때는 비자 없으면 경찰이 잡으러 댕겼어. 그래서 옆에 사람들 만나지도 않았어, 무서워서. 어, 그렇게 있다가 이제 엄마 들어오고, 이모 들어오고, 그래가지고 두 사람은 여기서 이제 또 어떻게 영주권을 받았어. 그러니까 가족이 셋이 세 사람밖에 없으니까 가족이 다 둘이 받았으니까 나는 이모하고 엄마 때문에 여기서 영주권을 받았어. Oh yeah, I still remember his name. His name is George. But that time I was 30. He that time he was over 70 something. Actually he was trying to help me very much. But the problem is his neighbor she is suspicious to me. Oh, that Asian girl, she wants to try to get some PR through you. Suddenly he asked me, Oh, Stella, I, I don't want to see you anymore. Why? And then, oh, no, yeah, because my neighbor, something, something. Then after we finished. After that, I couldn't see him anymore. I'm so sad at that time. 그래, 먼저 살 때는 옆에 집이가 외국 사람이랬었잖아. 그러니까 별로. 그저 누구승만 묻지? 말은 못 했어. 근데 집구 와 가지고는 옆에 한국 사람이 있으니까 아침에 보고 저녁에 보고 한국 얘기하고 그러니까 너무 다 편하고 진짜 행복하지. <웃음> it's really heartwarming. They spend most of their days just chin wagging over the fence and it I love it. honestly I love it. It's so beautiful and I'm so glad that they found each other randomly. Actually, you know, I'm the, the first generation in Australia. She was born in Australia. I was trying to keep uh, her to uh, remember Korean culture and then Korean heritage something. But I was so busy and then my mom, you know, she just raised her up and feel guilty a little bit more. Whenever I'm having like a bad day or a bad moment, I always try to think, um, of what they've gone through and what they've endured. So yeah, that always helps me to be a bit more appreciative. I still love my heritage and being an Australian, trying to juggle or trying to meld those two together, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just still trying to figure out. She's Australian, also she's Korean. So don't forget the Korean culture and the Korean heritage. I'm so grateful. Life in Australia, she got something good. Thank you.